We've all seen it in movies, where a character will fall out of a building, land on a car, and survive. Today we test movie physics and see if a car will break your fall and be any better than falling on pavement. All right, let's see if I can survive this for science. Give me a countdown. Three. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Two, I'm having second one. thoughts. Now sometimes characters do die when they land on a car, but that just means they weren't the main character. There are several scenarios where this happens in movies. One is where the character is slowed down by something before they land. The other is they're just superhuman, and some of them are just plain old dudes who we're supposed to believe are somehow superhuman. We'll be testing just the average dude scenario. There are three ways a car could break your fall that I want to test. Falling on the hood, the back window, and the roof. In addition to that, we'll talk about the practical effects that Hollywood uses to make these stunts look a little more exciting than what happens in real life. To see if you could survive falling on the car, I'm going to be dropping my 110 pound test dummy and using shock watches to measure it. You've probably seen these on Mythbusters. There's stickers that measure G-force. I've got a 50G, 75, and 100G. If I remember correctly from Mythbusters, 50Gs on the torso, you're injured, but you'll live. 75Gs means you're mortally injured. You're injured, but you're going to die. 100Gs, insta-dead. And on the head, 50 G's is also insta dead. But what matters more here than just the shock watches is a comparison between falling on the ground and falling on the car and how much of a difference it makes. Sticker doesn't stick very well. No, no. This is what we'll be dropping the dummy with today. This is a 10,000 pound quick release called a Sweeney trip made by Matt Sweeney Special Effects. This is kind of, it seems to be the industry standard for trips. Uh, it's the same model I believe they used on Mythbusters. So uh, this kind of means a lot to me, it's pretty cool. This is uh, my first time driving one of these things. I started this channel because I grew up wanting to be a Mythbusters, but Mythbusters doesn't exist anymore. Dropping a dummy from a boom lift with shock watches is about as Mythbusters as it gets. Daggum, that's high. This is the control test, dropping it onto the ground in three, two, one. Yeah! It bounced! Check out the gravel bounce. This dude's insides have to be soup. Oh, he is so dead. Like unbelievably dead. Yeah, 100 Gs to the head, 100 Gs to the chest. Look at the form, 10 out of 10. The, the thud was solid. Like I could hear it 65 feet up in the air. One of my dream videos is to be invited to either a special effects shop or a big movie set on the day of a big action scene to be able to witness and document and film some of the cool, big practical effects and mechanical special effects like nitrogen cannons, car flippers, cable accelerators, big wire gags, the cool stuff and to be able to talk to some of the special effects people working on these cool stunts and see how it works. Cause it used to be that they would do behind the scenes stuff on like DVDs, but that doesn't happen anymore. And even then it wasn't very in the weeds. So if you work at a special effects house or a big movie studio and you'd like to have me out and show off your cool project, I'd be totally down for that. This one's going right on the roof of the car. Going up. That's a lot of swing. <laughs> oh my God. I'm looking through the floor grate to aim for the car. Will a car roof break your fall? Dropping the dummy in three, two, one. <laughs> okay, get me down from here. Oh my God. Interesting result. 
Wow, so 50 G's to the head, dead. But it didn't trip the 75 G's on the head, but it got 75 G's to the torso, which means mortally injured, you're gonna die. But 50 G's to the head, this guy's for sure dead. Well, according to Mythbusters, this guy was in fact not the main character. Falling out of a building is a bad day. You know what's also a bad day? Spam, robo calls. The problem with data brokers is ever increasing. Data brokers aggregate your personal information and sell it to businesses, bad guys, whoever. Well, good news, there is something you can do about it. You have the right to privacy and to request the data brokers delete the information they have about you. As new threats arise in this world, so do new countermeasures, which is what this video sponsor Incogni offers. Incogni reaches out to data brokers and does all the work for you to have your information removed. But even after your info is removed from data brokers, they may still continue to collect personal information, and so Incogni repeatedly pursues them to remove it. That means that with a yearly subscription, you're protected for as long as you use their service. The only thing you need to do is create an account, grant Incogni the right to work for you, and kick your feet up while they do all the work. Incogni can't protect you from falling to your doom, but they can protect your privacy. Use code TYLERBELL at the link below and get an exclusive 60% off an annual plan. Give me you might have noticed the horrible green screen here, so I'll show you how I did this. <laughs> Let me just get rid of the plate photo, and the mask, and the green key. Stop, 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 stop! Down, down, down! <laughs> Grab this nice Very and easy. Oh. Uh, that was a little higher than last time. So this time we're gonna do the back glass and I'm gonna position the body to where the head hits the window and the feet hit the roof to maybe see if the window will cushion the head a little more than the sheet metal. All right, back window in three, two, one. Oh my God, <laughs> it looks just like the movies. Wow, yeah, he did for sure. Definitely not the main character. Hmm. It didn't trip the 50 on the torso. So this part of him lived, totally fine. This part, extra dead. Now notice how the side windows and the doors are untouched and the roof just collapsed, but the doors stayed upright. I've seen that a lot in other videos where people drop steel plates on cars to flatten them, but the doors stay untouched. And that is unlike the movies. You're probably wondering, Tyler, this doesn't look at all like it does in the movies. And that's because they add on a little bit of special effects. One of which is to blow out the glass. What I think they might be doing is using a glass breaker, which is just a little steel spike with a squib charge to break the glass. And then they blow out the window with an air cannon and the air cannon can probably shoot either more fake glass or real glass. Another thing that happens in the movies and not in real life is the roof caves in a lot more than what we've seen here. And the way I've seen them do that is they will weld or rivet a doubler plate to the bottom of the sheet metal for the roof. And that doubler plate will then get bodywork to make the roof look factory and that plate will also have a big fitting underneath that they can attach a big pneumatic cylinder to yank the sheet metal inwards. And to aid in that, they can also score and cut the pillars in strategic spots. We're gonna drop it on the hood next. Feet first this time, because we've seen enough of him falling flat. Feet first in three, two, one. Good Lord. 75 G's, 100 G's on the head, super dead. I'd say uh, that's totally busted. Movie physics, nonsense. 